Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. The Destiny 2 beta has been nothing short of super silly fun. If the activities here are any indication of the final product, we're going to be in for quite the treat this September when the full game launches. Now, one of the playable activities in the beta is the inverted spire. The strike takes place on Nessus, and through careful analysis over the past few months, the Destiny community was able to determine where on Nessus the strike takes place by comparing the layout and landmarks to the Nessus map we've seen in reveal footage. And in typical Destiny fashion, a good chunk of the strike runs through what appears to be open Nessus patrol space. And this of course got many of us, including me, wondering if we would be able to access more of Nessus off the beaten path while playing through the strike. Well, it turns out not only to be true, but what was found may surprise you. Let's jump in and break it down. So the first thing I did when setting boots down on Nessus was of course go off the beaten path, leave my fire team behind, and start exploring the surface. I wanted to see how much of Nessus you could actually explore, and to my surprise you could explore quite a bit. Right from spawn I immediately went right and was greeted by a path. It eventually leads to a symbol for a lost sector. Now, it's hard to say where exactly the Lost Sector matching this symbol really is, as we will most likely be getting the information for where the sectors are based on completing adventures. It's also possible that those NPCs need to supply us with items that are specially used to open doors. Either way, I wasn't able to find any dungeon entrances, but I was able to find a very curious entrance farther down the path. If you continue past the Lost Sector icon, you will see a cylindrical shaped structure to your left. Ascending the structure will eventually lead to a door that may look very familiar if you're a Destiny 1 player. And that's because the door is almost identical to the Atheon's chamber in Vault of Glass, just on a smaller scale. Sadly, the door was not able to be opened, I wasn't able to find any switches or terminals nearby, but there is no doubt in my mind that this is the entrance to one of Nessus's lost sectors. Again, most likely deactivated for the beta since it's not loaded with all of the data for the final game. Now, what I want to know, and which is the most curious aspect of this entrance, is why it features the Vault of Glass geometry. Will we perhaps be fighting an Atheon fanatic or something along those lines? It remains to be seen. But about an hour after I discovered the door, someone had already hacked their way into the structure. Using a very small hole under the door, you are able to crouch down and glitch through to the other side. Sadly, there is no boss or treasure lurking inside. You can see a massive tunnel in the center, which is likely what will lead down below the surface where the dungeon boss will most likely take place. There is also a teleporter visible by the entrance, which will most likely be what you use to ascend back out of the Lost Sector after you complete it. The image you see here was from a video showcasing the glitch. The player who discovered this posted a video that you can use to replicate the glitch yourself. I tried it myself for a little bit and got pretty far, but then I had to move on with my day. If you want, I'll leave a link down below if you want to try it out for yourself. Aside from that, I'll be spending a good amount of time tomorrow trying to replicate the glitch again, as well as try to discover how much of Nessus's surface we can actually explore, and of course, if there's any other hidden secrets for us to discover. If you'd like to follow along, be sure to head out to my Twitch channel later today, and we can go exploring. I'll also be playing a lot of Crucible, so if you'd like, you can come join up, and we can go throw down in some Control and Countdown. Anyways, let me know if you found any other secrets in the comments below. And as always, be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for my continued Destiny 2 coverage. And I will see you all next time.